Sunday on Valentine's Day, award-winning actor Ed Harris will headline a unique theatrical experience benefiting the Actors Fund. And our Aaron Nolan caught up with him to talk about virtual acting and giving back. Let's stay cool, people. In the dome of the Truman stage. Cue the sun. From Apollo 13 to the Truman Show, Ed Harris has some of the best roles that we have seen in Hollywood. But this weekend, it's a little bit different. From the silver screen, we're going to the stage. We're talking about The Gardener at the Stacy Keach Theater. Ed, thanks so much for joining us here on News Nation. You're welcome. I don't know if you actually call it the stage, you know? <laughs> you call it the, the Zoom stage, I guess. You well, know? I mean, Ed, first off, tell me about that. Working uh, on stage during a pandemic, you know, you have done theatrical performances <laughs> on Broadway before. There's no real interaction with an audience here. No, no, and you're not on stage. You know, you're in your bedroom or wherever you are, set up your table with the, with the screen and whatever props you're going to need, you know, and then you... <laughs> You do okay. your best. What are people getting when they watch The Gardener as you play Claude Monet? Well, I think they're getting a, a play that has never been produced before. It's a, you know, it's a new play, and it's a really fascinating play with three wonderful actors. And uh, it'll give you something to do for an hour and a half. You might learn something, might even feel something. Tell me a little bit yeah. of, about why you wanted to do this for Stacy, and why did you want to do this to help out other actors across the country? Well, you know, I'm actually in Chicago. My mom's not doing so well, and so I flew out here to be with her for a few days. and. Uh, but you know, Stacy's a friend. I mean, Stacy and I, we've known each other for a while. We never really worked together, but we we almost we tried to for several times. And he's just a really wonderful guy, and his wife Malgoja, you know. And the Actors Fund, I mean, it's it's really quite a special organization because you know you've got a lot of people, a lot of actors who end up their careers and they're. They could be penniless, they could be totally alone, they could be ill. And the Actors Fund is a really hands-on organization that helps people, you know, with their lives when they get older. I read something today as I was doing research for talking to you, Ed, and do you break a painting right before intermission here? And is this a painting that you actually painted yourself? Well, the scene calls... The scene calls for Monet at the end of Act One. He's upset and he rips up a canvas and tosses it, uh, something that he has painted, you know. And so we had to have something to rip up. So I painted something. I mean, it's very, just the shape of it and the is is based on a Monet painting, but the colors are way off and it's not anywhere near Monet. It's more like a yeah, kindergartner, you know, but it's, it's something on the canvas, you know. Well, I mean, there's something there and it's something for you to act with. Uh, it is Valentine's yeah, Day. I had, fun, I had fun painting it, you know. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure it was thera therapeutic. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned your wife, uh, Amy Madigan, and you get to act with her. It's Valentine's Day. How's that working for you guys with Valentine's Day and then, and then acting uh, opposite each other? Well, we love working together for one thing, you know. And um, actually, I got my Valentine thing got interrupted because I usually paint my wife something for Valentine's Day. And I was in the midst of it, but then I realized I better get out here and see my mama. So it's incomplete, but it shall be completed. The great Ed Harris. Ed, it's been a pleasure talking to you. And I know you've got some family things going on. Best wishes, prayers to you and your mother and your family. Back to you, Aaron. Thanks a lot. All right, Ed Harris, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Back